friends, today's crochet tutorial will be how to make the gingerbread man. Included in this tutorial will be directions for how to make the gingerbread man, as well as how to make the hat and the scarf. If you would prefer to make the more traditional Santa hat, there will be a link in the description box below to my video tutorial as well as a link to my free written pattern. A list of supplies needed as well as a link to the free written pattern will be in the description box below. For today's tutorial we will need five to six different colors of yarn. Any worsted weight number four yarn should work. I will be using Red Heart Super Saver in the colors Cafe Latte and the color black. I will also be using Mainstay's Basic Yarn that I purchased from Walmart in the colors red and the color white. And I will also be using two different colors of scrap yarn. We will also need a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook as well as a set of safety eyes. I will put the size of the safety eyes in the description box below. Now let's get into this tutorial. We will first make our arms. To do this, we will start with a magic ring and our cafe latte collar. We will make six single crochets in our magic ring. We will now close our ring. We will attach each round to our first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. For round two, we will chain one. We will place one single crochet increase in each stitch around. A single crochet increase is two single crochets in each stitch. We will have 12 single crochets at the end of round 2. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round 2. For rounds 3 and 4, we will chain 1. We will place 1 single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 12 single crochets at the end of each round for rounds 3 and 4. When you reach the end of each round, join to the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 4. You will have 12 single crochets at the end of round 4. To begin round 5, we will chain 1. We will place one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by a single crochet decrease in the second stitch. We will continue making one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet increase or a single crochet decrease in the next stitch. We will have a total of eight single crochets at the end of round five. Pause the video here. And meet me back at the end of this round. For round six, we will chain one. We will work one single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of eight single crochets at the end of round six. When we get to the end of this round, we will place a slip stitch in the first stitch of the round to join. You will then begin stuffing your arm. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. For rounds 7 through 14, we will chain 1 and we will work one single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 8 single crochets for each round for rounds 6 through or for rounds 7 through 14. We will stuff our arm as we go. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 14. After we have completed round 14, we will chain one, flatten our work, 
we will insert our hook through those first two single crochets in the ones right beside it. We will work a single crochet and then these two stitches here we will insert our hook through both of those stitches work a single crochet insert our hook through the next two stitches work a single crochet and insert our hook through the last two stitches and work our final single crochet. So we should have four single crochets closing up our arm. We will then finish off our yarn. We will make two arms like this. We will begin with our cafe latte. We will start by making a magic ring. We will work six single crochets in our magic ring. We will now close up our ring. We will join to the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. To begin round two, we will chain one. We will work a single crochet increase in each stitch across. A single crochet increase is two single crochets in the same stitch. We will have 12 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round two. At the end of each round, we will join to the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. To begin round three, we will chain one. We will work one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by one single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue making one single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will have 18 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round three. For rounds four, five, and six, we will chain one. We will place one single crochet in each stitch around. When we reach the end of each round, we will join to the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. We will have 18 single crochets at the end of each round for four, four rounds four, five, and six. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round six. To begin round seven, we will chain one. We will work one single crochet in the first stitch followed by one single crochet decrease in the next stitch. We will continue working one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by one single crochet increase, or decrease, one single crochet decrease in the next stitch. We will have a total of 18 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back when you reach the end of this round. For rounds 8 through 16, we will chain 1. We will work 1 single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 12 single crochets for each round for rounds 8 through 16. When you have finished round 8, we will begin stuffing our leg. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 16. We will finish off our first leg piece, but do not finish off our second leg piece. We will use this to attach the two legs. 
to start the body and to connect the legs we will chain one we will work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches we will then put our second leg next to our first leg and we will work one single crochet in each of the 12 stitches We can use this yarn tail later to close up any opening that might be in the middle. We will then place one single crochet on each of the remaining or in each of the remaining stitches on our first leg. We will now join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. We will have a total of 24 single crochets at the end of this round. If you are making the gingerbread man, then for rounds 18 through 26, we will chain one and we will work one single crochet in each stitch across. We will have a total of 24 single crochets for each round for rounds 18 through 26. We will join at the end of each round with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 26. If you are making the gingerbread girl, we will chain one and for around 18, we will place one single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 24 single crochets at the end of round 18. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. We will chain one. We will place one single crochet in each stitch around. When we reach the end of this round, we will join to the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. We will have 24 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 20. On round 20, we will be making the spot where we will be attaching the skirt. So we'll chain one and working in the back loop only, there's the stitch working, this is the front loop right here, this is the back loop. Working in the back loop only of each stitch around, we'll single crochet, we'll place one single crochet in each stitch around in the back loop only. We will have 24 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. Six, we will chain one. We will work one single crochet in each stitch around. We will have a total of 24 single crochets at the end of each round. We will place a slip stitch in the first stitch of each round to join. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of round 26. In this round we will be attaching our arms. You can attach your arms one of two ways. You can attach your arms after completing your amigurumi and sew them one, or you can attach them the way that I will be showing you. The way that I will be showing you will be we will be single crocheting them into the body. So to begin, we will chain one 
and working in the next stitch, not the same stitch as your chain one, but the next stitch, we will work one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. We will then grab one of the arms and single crocheting through both layers. So you see our arm here, we have four single crochets. We will single crochet through each of those single crochets and through the body. So we will work one single crochet in the next stitch and I will be single crocheting over my yarn tail from the arm. Single crochet in the next stitch through both layers. Single crochet in the next stitch through both layers. And single crochet in the next stitch, which will be the fourth stitch and the last stitch in your arm. Make sure you get both loops there. And take it through both layers, the arm and the body, main body, and single crochet. We will now be working one single crochet through each of the next eight stitches. Now we have four stitches remaining. We will take our second arm and do it the same way we did the first. Working through our, our arm and our main body, we will work one single crochet through both layers in the next four stitches. We will now join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. 